this year's Vlogmas, or No By Mas, didn't go as planned for reasons I will get into in a little bit. But I am still so excited because I couldn't leave 2020 without a collab with a really special lady. And we are going to be creating a look with an eyeshadow palette in our respective collections that were both a holiday release. Now, those of you that know, know that my eyeshadow palette could not have been from this year's holiday releases. So if you're curious to find out how I created this look, as well as here who I'm collabing with and what palette I will be using, then keep on watching. Hi everyone! I just filmed this whole entire intro and realized I was not recording. And I know, every YouTuber at some point says that. And I always think, how do you not check before you start filming? Well, guess what? I didn't check, apparently, before I started filming. So we are going to try this again. And you know, it's always so funny. Of course, of course, I thought, I have such a great intro. I was so cool. I was so nonchalant. I cracked some really awesome jokes and I didn't record any of it. But this is still going to be super fun and I'm still going to make the absolute best of it because this video has so many exciting things in it. It's a collab. We're creating a holiday look with an eyeshadow palette that I've barely used. So I am so excited to try it out. So the premise of today's video is that we're gonna be creating an eyeshadow look with an eyeshadow palette that was a holiday release. Now in my case, obviously it's a holiday release from prior years because of my no buy. So we'll get into that in a second. I'm not going to quite spill the beans yet on what that palette is. First, I wanted to tell you guys about the wonderful lady that I'm collabing with. You've seen her before on my channel. We've done a collab once before and her name is Tan and I will make sure to link her video right up here in the iCards. Please go send her so much love. She is one of the kindest, most generous, most supportive, most encouraging people I have met on the internet thus far. We both live in New York City. We, thanks to all the events of 2020, have not been able to meet in person yet, but I am sure that will happen one day. Tan is always full of amazing ideas. She's super creative. I hope that you guys will go watch her channel. She is in the middle or almost done with her Vlogmas, which is Tanmas. She posted 12 videos in a row and I really, really hope that you will go and watch some of those videos. I know that you guys are going to fall in love with her. I think she's got great content. I think that as all of us who are new creators and started in 2020, I think she has come so far. I am starting to really see her personality come through on camera more and more and I just cannot recommend her enough. She's she's just a wonderful soul and I really, really do hope that you guys will go subscribe and tell her that I said hi. Now, before we get into all the fun stuff, I do want to address the fact that I planned a 12 video Vlogmas or No By Mas in my case for this month. And if you guys have been keeping up, you've probably realized that I've only posted like five or six videos instead of the 12. The reason for that, there are several reasons for that, but the main reason for that is because after my red lipsticks swatch video, which I hope, please, please, pretty please, you will go and watch that video. I'll go ahead and link it because after that video, the next day after filming that video, I woke up with a swollen lip. I get cold sores. So I woke up with a lip that was swollen, super painful, super gross and disgusting, and super never ending. It was here to stay. It's it's still here. I'm just trying to masquerade it. I just couldn't, I couldn't wait any longer. At least most of the swelling has gone down and you know, now it's just, it just needs to take probably another week to fully heal. Those of you that have been with me probably remember that I had a similar thing happen back, I want to say like in September or something 
something like that and it's actually why i started my makeup collection series when i did it's because i couldn't be on camera and i could have done the same thing this time around i could have just gone ahead and filmed as many makeup collection videos as i could i don't know for some reason this time around i just don't want to do that i guess i just wasn't feeling it i had planned my highlighter collection as part of my no by must and that is already up on my channel i planned that because i thought highlighters are so festive and i really wanted that to be the collection video i post during my actual no by must everything else i don't know i think also i just got so discouraged out of all times to get a cold sore i was so excited for filming these videos and i was so excited to be part of this vlogmas community and then this came along and i kind of let it drag me down to be honest instead of sort of grabbing the bulls by the horns and saying you know what i'm gonna get creative and figure out some way of posting videos i just i, I just got really sad and really upset over it and then a work things and some other things came up that also just made things even worse so i'm sorry i i dropped the ball on this one and i did not get all the videos that i planned up i promised to make it up to you guys i have a huge list of videos to film so i hope over winter break while i'm doing a lot less to no teaching i will be able to film a bit more and get you guys some more content at the very end of december and then into january of 2021 with that said though let's get into what we're here for which is a really fun exciting video and that is creating a look with an eyeshadow palette that was a holiday release so right before we get into that i just wanted to welcome any of you guys that are new to my channel i'm so thrilled that you are here and thank you so much for spending a part of your day with me my name is natalia and i am doing a year-long no buy which is almost over which is mind-blowing and this whole entire year has been primarily about exploring all of the items that i already have if you are also on a no buy or low buy or maybe considering one for 2021 or maybe you just looking for some inspiration motivation and ways of trying to use more of what you already have and not get tempted by every new release that has been coming out and will continue to be coming out because we all know these releases are never ending and they're non-stop it's it's a lot it's a lot and i totally understand what it's like to want you know the majority of those releases but we just absolutely cannot have it all and we cannot neglect the items that we already have so if you're into that sort of content if that sounds good to you i hope that you will consider sticking around and subscribing and joining our frugal family and without further ado have any of you guys figured out what palette i'm going to be using today based on maybe the colors I have on or maybe palettes I've talked about in the past all right drum roll please today we are going to be using the metal matte palette from what used to be Kat Von D and is now KVD vegan beauty KVD kindness vegan beauty I'm sorry I know I do this every single time I have to say this brand's name and that's because it's just a ridiculous name but I know plenty of people have talked about that so we're gonna leave it at that so yeah today we're gonna be playing with my Kat Von D because let's face it that's what this palette really was a metal matte palette so it's got all the mattes on the bottom all the uh, shimmers on top it's barely used it's a little more used after I created this look today but there are still tons of shades that have never been used especially the mattes because the shimmers i at least i think used to swatch for fun so yeah if you guys are curious to find out how i got this look with my metal matte palette then i hope that you will keep watching and i hope that after you're done watching my video you will go check out tan's video and find out what look she created and which holiday release I think from this year, because she's not on no buy, is she going to be using? I am also so curious. I think I know because she and I discussed it. So I think I know which palette she's going to end up selecting to do a look with. And I cannot wait to see it. Since I am known to be very long winded and have videos that are unnecessarily long, we are going to jump into this look in three, two, one, now. Hi. 
All right, so let's jump into this holiday-ish look that's going to be done with a really old holiday release. This is the Kat Von D Metal Matte. I've mentioned before that this is a palette that is kind of a regret, my own personal regret for the fact that I haven't used it. And I know for a while there, you know, nobody was using Kat Von D, but now that she's no longer affiliated with the company, they've actually renamed the company, but I still have a few older products and um tan and i decided that we were going to do a look with a holiday release so she's doing one with a release from this year so one of the newest holiday palettes and i'm kind of doing something with one of my oldest holiday palettes this i believe was a holiday release for 2016 if i'm not mistaken considering it is four years old you guys can see i've maybe used it once and most of these mattes are still brand and new and untouched. So this was a great way for me to test out this palette, see if it's still any good, see how I'm gonna like it, and for Tan and I to do something really fun as our collab as part of her Tanmas and my No Buy Mas. Let's jump in. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. I've been thinking and thinking and thinking. I really wanted to play with some blues recently, but considering that this is part of Vlogmas, I just felt that maybe I should save that and do another look, maybe for New Year's or even just any time during the year and save the blues for another time. I might even do a video sometime soon with this, but for today I'm torn either between like some of these purpley burgundy lilac-y colors or actually doing something with these greens. And of course, I'm tempted to do the greens because I love green eyeshadow and it's a Christmas color. I guess in some ways it's a bit of an a brainer. So maybe that's what we should do. I've already put some of my face mask Face I've already put some of my face makeup on as you guys can see and I have already primed my eyelids with the usual Marc Jacobs uh, primer that I've been using all year. I have not however set the primer. I have this bone color so I might as well. I'm gonna take this really beat up crown brush that I always set with and we're gonna go ahead and set that. Okay, let's have some tea before this. Maybe some caffeine will make me more creative. I'm going to walk you guys through what I think I'm going to do and then speed through it because I am not good at talking and doing makeup at the same time. So I think I will play it safe and put a little bit of suede in the transition, but then I do want to also use some of this moss shade and I'll try to go in real gentle first, see if I can diffuse it really lightly. We'll see how that goes. And then I am going to see what to deep it up with in the outer V if I feel like that's necessary. I definitely have options here. There's oak, stone, there is of course a jet black, and I'll show you guys what ends up happening, and then I'm definitely going to play with these two shimmers. Let me swatch them for you right now. There they are right there. That's real pretty. Wow. Here, we're going to do that. There they are right there. That's what the plan is. And let's see what the execution ends up being.
wanted to jump back on and say that I think I'm actually going to try a halo eye with these two green colors. And then if I feel like I need some more brightness, I might take glitz or tinsel and lighten just the inner part of my lid even more. But we're going to go in with these two shades next and try to do a halo eye. Central. Oh boy, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this off without smearing it all over my face. Let me give you guys a quick rundown of what I did. Basically, in my crease, I used suede and moss. I then deepened with the jet black. I did a halo eye with Watt and Ignite. That's the two greens here. And then I went in with tinsel and mixed that with Ignite a little bit for even more of a pop. And then for my lower lash line, I basically did a very similar thing, except I used oak and moss first to deepen the outer lash line. Then I went in with Watt and Ignite, kind of mirroring the halo eye. I did a little bit of Watt on the inner and outer and then Ignite in the center. And then for my inner corner, I actually first went in with flash and then mixed it in with tinsel because this would have been way too coppery and I didn't want to be too, too silvery either. I kind of wanted a little bit of a blend of those two colors. I thought that might be kind of fun and cool. So I'm going to go ahead, throw on some black liner because I don't know if I have any greens that would work with this. I'm going to take a look and then put on some mascara, put on some lipstick. This will be the first time I'm wearing lipstick since my lip swatch video and I will come back with the final look to finish this video off. So here we go. And 
Here we are. So this is my final look, my final Christmas holiday look. This definitely, of course, screams a lot more Christmas with the green eyes and the red lip and my matching red sweater and I really hope that you guys like it. I would love to hear your feedback. I would love to hear if you still have the metal mat or maybe used to. What were some of your go-to looks, some of your favorite looks, and just any insight that you guys have into this palette. Oh my gosh, this earrings. I mean, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. It's kind of why I wore them, to be honest. <laughs> In everyday life, I almost never wear these because this drives me, drives me bonkers. They're really pretty, but um, yeah. But I thought, hey, for the holidays, for the holidays, this is kind of appropriate, right? I mean, I come with built-in jingle bells. I am all decked out. I even have, I even have a headband, but I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera. And I've cut my hair for the first time in over a year, guys. I got a haircut. How thrilling is that? But other than that, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video where Tan and I took a palette in our collection that was a holiday release and created a holiday look out of it or just something you know we would wear on a special occasion it doesn't necessarily have to be holiday colors or holiday inspired but a lot of times i feel like holiday releases after a while definitely do wane off as far as the excitement and the attention that they get here on youtube and social media in general at the time this was a great release i can't say that now i think these shadows are the bee's knees but i really enjoyed working with this palette today. I feel like by now a lot of brands have much better formulas and definitely except for the design and the aesthetic of Kat Von D back in her heyday, I don't think the actual eyeshadow formula would get the same level of hype as it did back then. But I am now excited to play with this palette a little bit more and that's all really I could ask from filming this video and doing this for you guys. So I really want to thank Tan again for collaborating with me for the second time, for throwing so many fantastic ideas my way and for us to finally deciding to do this. I know she's really wanted me to use this metal matte palette and rightfully so. I, it's just such a shame that it's been sitting in my collection for four years practically untouched and if you guys haven't already i urge you to please go check out tan's channel she is one of the kindest and sweetest people i have met through this youtube journey thus far she was my very first friend here online that i really clicked and connected with and that was so easy to talk to and just is always so giving so generous with her time with her energy, with her encouragement. She's been truly just so, so absolutely wonderful. And I really, really hope that you will go check out her channel, give her some love, tell her I said hi. Other than that, I wish you guys all a merry, merry Christmas if you do celebrate Christmas. And I hope that you're able to spend it with some of your loved ones. But if you're not, that you're able to pamper yourself, treat yourself, take care of yourself on that day and always and one more reminder to please subscribe if you haven't already i want to thank you all again so so much for taking the time to watch my videos and for all the love and support that you have given me in 2020 i hope as always that you are continuing to stay safe to take care of yourself and those around you and i cannot wait to see you in my next video bye